Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going wonderful. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today we're going to create a couple of projects, well four in total, four projects using the Simonson Stamp Card Kit. Um, this month's card kit is for June 2023 and it's called Etched Greetings. If you like mixed media, if you like kind of um, a vintage distress kind of a look this kit is for you which I love and this is fully loaded kit we're gonna go everything we're gonna go over everything that's in the kit really quickly I'm not gonna go into detail about things but I want to go over it real quickly and then we're gonna jump in and create some cards this is your stamp set this month it takes after the name of the kit it's called etched greetings I love the vintage feel of this I'm saying vintage, but this is kind of a mixed media vintage kind of a thing. I just love that. So this is our stamp set. You get a die. I love that Simon's including dies. This is a fancy thanks die. It's a fabulous size. I actually die cut this out to show you what it looks like. This is, it has a thanks and it's great on its own. And then it also has a shadow. You can see here. And this is an A2 panel. It's perfect landscape and portrait for many, many kind of sizes of cards. So that's your die this month, the fancy things. You get four eight and a half by 11 sheets of two sheets of cardstock and then two specialty, we'll say. This is Simon Says Stamps 100 pound green leaf cardstock. You get Nina um, Desert Storm cardstock. This is an 80 pound weight. You also get one sheet. This is Simon Says Stamp um, Matte Gold. This is 90 pound, but the, the backside's blank. It's great for die cutting. So this is a matte gold card stock. And you get a 40 pound weight Simon Says Stamp Vellum Sheet. Nice vellum sheet. I love the weight of this because it's great for embossing. So you get those. You get 12 sheets of pattern papers. These are double sided. This is the reverse side. It has that vintage distressed look. And these are from Crafter's Companion. These are six by six inches. You get a mesh bag. I got a green one, but your colors, the colors may vary. I love these bags. These bags are perfect for storing all of your Simon craft kit goodies. So you get that. You also get a package. This is a full package. I mean, it's very thick. These are from Tim Holtz. You also get a full sheet of foam squares. These are black, which are really nice. Great for layering. You get a single Simon Says Stamp. This is the Reverse Gratitude Sentiment Strips. What this is so nice is if the back side's white, but what you do is take your paper trimmer and you can trim out sentiments. You don't have to worry about finding a sentiment. Love that. So you get a, one of those. You get an envelope. This is metallic bronze. It's an A2. You get a um, peel and stick envelope. You get some foil transfer sheets from Deco Foil and Simon Says Stamp. There's eight in here. They're all gold. And I don't think I've ever used Deco sheets. I think I used it once with the paste. But so nice to have a little bit of shine on your cards. And you get a full package of that. And lastly you get a little sweet treat. I got banana. Oh, that's a good one. But you also get um, a little sweet treat. So that's everything in the kit. I'm going to go ahead and put everything off to the side and we're going to jump in and get started. For my first card, what we're going to do, well, what I did first off is um, I like to go with a color theme, as you all know, for my, my Simon kits. Now, I trim down into quarter panels the Nina Desert Storm, the matte gold cardstock, and then the semi stamp vellum. I, so I quartered them. So we have four sets of these, and we're going to use huge sets like this on each one of our cards. And first we're going to take this panel. I'm going to take a half of an inch off of one side. Okay, we'll save this for another card. And while we have our trimmer out, I'm going to trim down the left and the right of this die cut panel. I'm just going to take a little bit off. There's a very faint square rectangle line around here and I'm just evening that up. I think that will work out great. Then I'll take, I do want to mat my ephemera on a piece of my vellum. So I will line it up where I want it here. 
and I will trim away the rest of it. So we can mat this on here, our vellum. We have an extra piece we'll set off to the side. With this, I'm gonna trim down about a, maybe a quarter, a little over a quarter inch strip off of our, our matte gold. I'm gonna flip over this. I'm gonna use my glue. I'm gonna add a thin bead along the right edge. And then I'll take my Mina Desert Storm cardstock and we will add a little bit of a gold border on the left side. Wonderful. And while we're at it, I'll take this and I'll tape this down to my vellum. Now we're going to use the foil transfer sheet in a kind of like a marbly way and to do it it's very easy. I kind of practiced, let me show you. I practiced with this um, die cut piece. You see the gold flakes in there, how it looks kind of marbly. I love that little subtle look um, and it's very easy to do. We're going to take a sheet of these and trim it down. I quartered mine. Okay, I'll put this off to the side. Now. I'm going to bring in a piece of scratch paper and then just using glue, I'm going to add some glue to my scratch paper here. I'm pretty sure any kind of glue will work. And then I have just a cheapy little paintbrush here. These are actually kind of disposable, but I'm going to pick up some of this glue. You can rinse these out too because if you're, most glues are water soluble, which is nice. And then what I'm going to do is take the glue, the tapping motion, and I'm just going to tap some areas in the corners. Um, you want to do little sections at a time, but just do a little tapping area and then take your foil face up, press it down on that glue, and then you can remove it and it leaves like a distressed look. The cool thing is, you can see how it leaves a little distressed. The cool thing is, is the more your foil is used, the better your your splotches will be. So that's why we're start, starting on um, our craft first. And we will go ahead and rub away, almost like gilding flakes we're using this as, and it's very easy to do. Okay, we're going to do a little bit more on this one. I want it to overlap on the edge here. We will tap away the excess. There. I think that's the perfect amount of little uh, an extra touch because this is going to go right here. Okay, now I do want to add a little bit of gold to this. We don't need too much because it's going to be, for the most part, covered. But just maybe a couple little areas. This this um, die cut is has a slick surface, so it may take a little bit longer to grab. Well, that's a big blob. <laughs> so we just keep going until you get the right amount. With the slick surface, you want the glue to dry a little bit more um, before you peel and lift up. I think that works best.
for the most part, the center is going to be covered. You probably won't even see those florals. But it's kind of fun doing this. Okay, so we can still use this again, and we can save this because we're going to use it on our project too. Now, if you wanted to add a little sparkle to your butterfly too, you could do that. Let's see. Add a little glue here too. can add some sparkle to our butterfly. Let that glue dry a little bit. Okay, and then you just press and add some little flakes to our die cuts. The nice thing about creating a mixed media look is there's no right or wrong. So now we have some beautiful sparkle to that butterfly. Okay. We're going to take this panel, flip it around. I'm going to use my tape runner here. We're going to add this to our card base. And I created a top folding A2 size card base. This is going to go all the way to the right. Out of tape, so I have to use my other tape runner. Okay, we'll adhere this. I think that's a good spot. Make sure it's straight. I'm going to flip over our kind of gilded panel. <laughs> well, and then we'll add some foam squares. And I love that Simon included foam squares. We'll go ahead and add this to the center. Looks very elegant. And then I have some more die cut pieces. Now we're missing a sentiment, so I'm going to bring in some white cardstock and we're going to use our intense black ink pad. I'm going to stamp this one here that says hello there on our white cardstock. Usually I'm so used to using my my memento ink. I have rarely used my intense black ink, but it stamps beautifully. I'm going to use my scissors, and there is a little bit of a shadow line on the, on the bottom and then the right side. I'm going to skip over that and leave a little bit of a border. And you know what? I'm cutting this out. I'm not sure if uh, Simon Says Stamp has a die set that coordinates. If they do, I will link it below. But I will just trim away this. Okay, and then I'll take this with our gold card stock. I'm going to add some adhesive. I'm going to layer this on the gold and create a gold outline with this. Wonderful. I'll pop up our sentiment. I'll remove the release paper. We're going to add this. And then I will fold in the wings of my butterfly. I put a thin strip of that foam tape behind here and we will add our butterfly on this edge. I think that looks really pretty. I do have some Simon Says Stamp assorted moonshine sequins, and I'm going to add a few of these. And we'll tuck our last one underneath our sentiment. And that is our first card. 
for my next card, I have some of my die cut pieces. Okay, and we're going to add a little bit of those flakes to these as well. But I did trim down a panel with my craft cardstock. This measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. I'm going to take my stamping positioner. I'm going to add this panel to my Misty. And then I'm going to take the floral, this beautiful floral here, and we're going to add it to this. Such a pretty floral. I'll pick this up with my lid. I'm going to ink up my image with my intense black ink. Images like this are so pretty black and white because there's so much detail in here. Now I also took the thank you that was in our stamp set. Let me show you what it looks like. This one. Okay. I'm going to take another one of my foil sheets. I just trimmed it down. Okay. I'm going to show you a different way to use the foil too. Hopefully it works. <laughs> um, you're going to need a sticky ink to do this part. Okay, I have a piece of white cardstock. I brought another one to sandwich it. And my VersaFine is a little bit on the drier side. So I'm going to be using, you need a pigment ink to do this. So I'm going to use my unicorn um, pigment ink. I'm going to go ahead and pick up the ink on my thank you. I'm going to stamp on my white cardstock here. And then I'm going to go over this with my clear embossing powder. Okay, I'll melt this. Now I should have went over this with my um, anti-static powder tool, but that's okay. I'll melt this. Once this is melted, I'm going to take my foil. I will place it on here. I'm going to add another piece of cardstock. And then I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine. We will just add this. And we will run this through. Once it's ran through, we can remove the foil and we have a thank you. I'm going to try it one more time. This is a little bit splotchy, so I'm going to try it once more. And this turned out much better. And you know what I think it is, is one, um, this is a fine detail clear embossing powder, but you just want to make sure you can see when you um, emboss how smooth your lines are. So just make sure they're nice and melted to get that um, so you don't get blotchies. And this worked out so much better. I just made sure that I really heat set that embossing powder. Um, that way it was nice and smooth. I think the smoother your melt is, the better your impression will be. But we have a beautiful foil. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more, um, we're gonna call it gilding on our images. For this card, I'll take my Nina Desert Storm and we're gonna add some adhesive behind here. And we're gonna mat this on our matte gold just so a little bit's peeking out i'll take my paper trimmer and trim away the excess we're going to add our panel to our card base and then i'll take our die cut piece we're going to add this about three quarters of an inch from the bottom and then i'll trim away the excess here We're going to pop up our thank you and all of our elements. 
Okay, we're going to add our thank you. I kind of want to go at an angle here. Just so a little bit of those florals are peeking out. I think that looks really pretty. We're again going to add some sequins. Okay. And that is our next card. For my next card, I trim down a sentiment from our sentiment strips, our reverse sentiment strips. This one says, um, you have been amazing. We're gonna use our fancy thanks die. I'm going to die cut out the shadow with white cardstock and also, my, sorry, she bumped the camera. <laughs> and then my thanks, I'll die cut out thanks three times with white cardstock. And then I'm also going to die cut out the word thanks with a piece of black cardstock. I pulled this from my stash. So I'll run this through my die cut machine and I will be right back. Okay, all of our thanks are die cut. We're going to eventually, we're going to layer all three of these together. And then with our black one, I have some more glue on my scratch piece of paper. I'm going to go in with my glue and I'm going to go over the bottom part of my things with the glue. And I'm, um, I want it to look a little bit distressed. So just the bottom edge. Nice thing about black is you can kind of see where your glue is. Okay, and then we'll put, I'm going to keep this out because we're going to actually do a little gilding. Um, we're going to add some gold to our ephemera, but I'll take my foil, place it right over the top of that thing after it's die cut, and then I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. I ran this through, and we'll lift this up here carefully. Then we remove the foil. Don't you love the way that looks? I think that looks so neat. And that's going to look really nice and distressed on our background. And you could do this with any, you could do it with a craft cardstock, you could do it with white cardstock. Sky's the limit with this. It looks really pretty with our white border. And that's where we're going to put it. I'm going to stack these three together. And then we'll add this on top and layer it back on the shadow. And then I'll add some gold to our die cuts. And I just used the leftover piece from our things. And I did stack our things and layered it together so we have a little bit of dimension here. Okay. We're going to go ahead and take a piece of white cardstock and I have three strips of our matte gold cardstock in three different sizes and I'm going to adhere them using my tape runner about one inch making sure they're straight. We're going to layer all three of these together on this panel. And then I have one of our die cut pieces. I'm not going to add any gold to this. Um, and then I have a piece of vellum and also a piece of the craft cardstock. The vellum measures four and a half inches by three. And then we have our craft cardstock that measures four and a quarter inches by two and three quarter inches. And then we have our postcard from our die cut pack. This is going to be matted on all three of these. And then I'll pop this up with some foam tape. This is going to go right here on our card our leaves first and boy those that gold just makes a huge amount of difference. I'm going to add my thanks. I like to tuck the stems underneath. Now I'm leaving a little bit of room on the bottom for my sentiment strip. 
Simon Says Stamp has um, white on black and black on white. The black, the white sent, the white sentiment on the black cardstock is called Reverse. So if you're looking for some sentiment strips, they have um, white on black and black on white. Okay, and then we have our butterfly. We'll put this at the top corner once more. Okay. And that finishes that card. Nice and shiny. We're going to move along to our final card today. Another fun way to use those, uh, the deck of oil. This is the leftover piece of our card stock, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the bottom of our card base, which is the top folding A2 card base. And I also took some more of my sentiment strips. Um, I, um, I created a strip that says thank you, and then one that says you are such a blessing. I thought we'd make another thank you card. We, oh, we can always use thank you cards. I'm going to adhere this to the bottom of my card base. Okay, and then we have this large, real pretty die cut piece. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of the gold to the edges, and we'll do the same thing. Um, not to this one, the little library card will wait there. I'm actually going to mat this on here and I'll trim it off, but I am going to add a little bit of gold. So I'm going to bring back my little scratch piece of paper and we will bring back, I think I have plenty left over here on this piece. We'll add some. Okay, we're just finishing up. This one was a little bit lighter and that's okay. We love that shine. I'm gonna go ahead and take this panel and we'll adhere this to our card base. Put this right in the center. Wonderful. I'm gonna pop this up with some foam tape. I'm going to go ahead and add my greenery. And I'm just going to use my glue for this. Wonderful. And then I will pop my bird up with foam square. I think that's just the right amount. And that is that card. So here's a look at all four cards that we made today with the Simon Says Stamp Etched Greetings card kit. This is the June 2023 card kit. I hope this gives you some ideas on how to create some um, fun and unique wool. I hope this gives you some ideas to weigh um, on using the foil transfer sheets. And I thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.